Let's see now how can we run unit tests outside Visual Studio from command line. We will look at two options on how to do this. First option will be by using an unit console runner and the second option by using .NET. Let's start with the first option using an unit console runner. Let's download an unit console. I am on an unit website on download page. Click on an unit console. We get redirected to GitHub page. Scroll down. I have a Windows machine, so I will download an unit console zip file. And once this is downloaded, just extract the files and that's it. So here we have an unit tree console.exe. Now let's use this by opening a common prompt and run the unit tests. In case you don't have a unit test project, I will add a tutorial on how to do this. So please check the description for this video. Before running test cases, just make sure you go in Visual Studio and rebuild your solution. This will generate this unit test DLL file, which we need for running the test cases. Now we are in common prompt. This is the command to run the unit test for our project. The first part of the command represents the path to an unit tree console. If you have added this in environment variable, you don't have to specify the full path. Then we have space and the last part of the command is the path where our unit test DLL was generated. And let's press enter. As we can see the unit tests were executed and here is the test summary. We can do one more thing which is to group and filter the unit tests. To do this let's switch back to Visual Studio. So and unit tree has this attribute category which can be used to group the unit tests in different categories. Let's say we want to create a category for unit test P1. Now let's make sure we go and rebuild the solution. So we added one more option which is this where category where we specify the category name we set in Visual Studio and let's hit enter. And as we can see, we have this new section test filters where the category is the category we wanted to execute. And at the end, we have the same test summary with the overall result. And that's it. That's how you can run the test cases from an unit console runner. Now let's see how can we run the test cases using .NET. I have installed this with Visual Studio installer. I will add the link into the description, so please check it if you are interested. So this is the command to run the test cases with .NET. So we have .NET space test space, then we have the path where our unit test DLL file is located. Press enter. The unit tests were executed and we have a small summary at the end. Now let's try and run the test cases only for a given category. To do this, we have this extra option, which is dash dash filter, space, test category, and the category name. And let's press enter. And there it is. We just run the test cases only for the category we wanted to run. That's everything for now. Thank you for your time and see you at the next one. Bye.